Hey, it's Clay Trader. This will be a video chart on ticker symbol TRTC. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. And in this case makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today the price made a very, very nice move. I mean, when you consider where the price was to where it ultimately closed right there, any rational person is gonna say, yeah, without question, the price had a very solid day. But that does lead to the logical question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single point. And this important area resides down here at, what is that, 0.234. Why is 0.234 so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is gonna progress forward. You know, the price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly strong, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That would be a contradiction. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about 0.234. Any sort of closes below that level, or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of this range that it just broke out of. Again, going back, not a true sign of strength. Let's say a, a drastic pullback happens. I'm not saying this will happen at all, but let's just pretend price does something like this and then does that. So even after a drastic pullback like that, what would you have? Well, you'd still have a set of lows right here. You'd have that set of lows down there. If you picture each one of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you still have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, I'm defining and quantifying the phrase make progress forward as 0.234. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, you have some up there at 0.254. But overall, you know, breaking levels of resistance, in my opinion at least, not really a huge priority right now. Top priority for the chart is just go through a healthy consolidation, build a higher base, because as long as higher bases are be being built over time, the long-term chart will take care of itself. So without question, very powerful move today. Now things transition to the question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.